Hi all, Yuval Shkedi here, Solution Architect for Jet4 Data, and today I'm going to show you how to load data into Jet4. I already have a Jet4 server installed and ready to use. The first thing I need to do is to create an instance. So I'm going to create an, an instance using this command, which will create an instance let's call it load demo I'm going to use for the storage path local disk and that's why I'm going to specify the cache size is zero because I don't need cache when I'm using local storage and I'm going to specify the storage type as POSIX so I'm going going and uh, create this and now the instance is created it's going to use port 9112 so I'm going to start the service now okay the service is running right now now I'm going to load some data for this I'm going to use the sales demo data that is available for download in the JET website. There are two versions of this data and in this case I'm going to use the star schema version which contains uh, three dimension tables and one star fact table. Let's start by simply loading the, the dimension tables. For the dimension uh, tables to load them I simply need to run the JET loader and specify the description file and the CSV file, the, the source data. The description file is uh, what tells Jethro how to load the data and here we can take a look at a sample uh, description file. This one is for the fact table. So before I start loading the data I need to uh, first create the tables. So I'm going to run the Jethro command Jethro client command and I'm going to specify the cells demo .tdl, which is a file containing all the table creation scripts so now we have all the tables ready I can also connect from a uh, from a client here from a SQL Workbench client let me just fix this and I can do show tables to see what tables I have right now in the instance so I have those customer item sales demo and store now I'm going to uh, start loading the um, dimension tables so let's run the just for loader and specify the uh, description file let's start with the customer and the CSV Now it tells me immediately what is the loader file report. So I can uh, look at that file when the load is done and make sure that everything is loaded correctly. One other option is to run the jet uh, loader command in the background and then uh, tail the log file to watch the process. Let's continue with the other. Let's go, let's do store now. and item ok 
Okay, so now I can run the table, the command show tables extended. And that shows me that those three tables already have data in them, while the uh, fact table, the sales demo table, is still empty. So now we are going to load it. Now the fact table is in a uh, zipped file, sales demo csv.gz. Now I can load it directly. Jetho can load uh, gzip files without any problem. But in this case, this table contains uh, 100 million rows. I don't want to uh, load everything. I just want to uh, load some sample data out of it. So I'm going to uh, do the following. I'm going to open the file by doing zcat. And then I'm going to pipe this to the command head minus one million because I want just one million rows and then I'm going to pipe this into the JSO loader I'm going to specify the cells demo description file and instead of a file name, I'm going to specify std in, which means I'm going to read it of, out of the standard um, input from the pipe. And then I'm going to add an ampersand at the end to run it in the background. So now it's running. I can copy the file name and I can do tail minus f that, to that file. Now this already finished. We can take a look at the full uh, report the full uh, file. This is only one million records so it uh, finished pretty uh, fast but as we can see um, the input records were one million and also the output records and the table row now contains one million records. So now I've got my full um, star schema tables loaded. The next thing I want to show you is how to load uh, data into Jetro from external sources. So for this first, I'm going to create the denormalized version of the sales demo table. So again, specifying the DDL, this time it's, it's a different DDL for the uh, denormalized table. So the table is created. So as you can see here, we have a, another table called sales demo denormalized, which, is not, which doesn't contain any data yet. So I want to load this data uh, to this table data uh, that uh, exists in a different database. For this I have data in Impala and I'm going to uh, get the data out of Impala and direct it into Jetro. So I have this command right here so what is going to, what I'm going to do, I'm going to run the Impala shell um, with a database called tpcds.exister and I'm going to use uh, an output delimiter with uh, which is a pipe and run a, the query select star from a sales demo limit uh, 1000 I want to load just 1000 row, uh, rows right now and then I'm going to pipe this into the Jetho loader uh, into uh, using the sales demo description file which is the description file for this uh, denormalized table. So let's run this command and again I'm going to read it from the standard input because I'm using a pipe. So again we can uh, l take a look at the log file. This shouldn't take a long time because it's only 1000 records and yes we're done. 
So let's take a look at the tables again. So right now we have 1000 records in the cells demo denormalized. Now let's try to load the same table in, the, in a different way. So before I do that I want to truncate this table. Let's run the show table extended again. So it's back to zero. So what I want to do now, I'm going to extract data out of the normalized table and load it into the denormalized table directly from Jethro. So for this, I have, let's go first here. So I have a uh, cells demo denormalized SQL. This SQL statement selects everything that is needed from the different, uh, from the normalized tables and actually creates the denormalized version of it. Okay, now the query says limit 100, let's make it 1000 to be the same as before. So let's copy now the command and I'll show you what it's going to look like before I run it. So I'm running the Jethro client. Need to change the instance name here to be load demo. Now I'm going to run it with the minus C which means CSV mode and with the minus D which uses the delimiter as pipe. I'm going to uh, use the query in this file cells demo denormalize SQL and then I'm going to uh, forward the output into the Jethro loader which is going to uh, load it into the denormalized table again using std in. So let's try that. So again we can take a look at the log but again it shouldn't take too long before it's loaded because it's only 1000 records. And there we are. Let's take a look at our table again. And now we're back to 1000 records here. Okay, so what did we have here? First we loaded, we created an instance, then we loaded uh, data from uh, CSV files, after that we loaded data from the standard input uh, using Zcat, then we load the data from an external uh, database, in this case Impala, and then we load the Jethro directly from one Jethro table into another. That's going to be all for today. Thank you and see you next time.